The new Windows 11 25 H2 update just made it harder than ever to create a local account during setup. Microsoft has patched the popular bypass methods, forcing users to work Microsoft accounts, but don't worry, in this video I'll show you exactly what changed and the new ways people are still setting up local accounts. But before we begin, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's get straight into it. So this here is the controversial update for Windows 11. So so announcing Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26220.6772 inside the developer channel. Now, we are lucky that this isn't available in the stable release or the release candidate, but this is still in the developer channel. And uh, yes, this is the actual update for Windows 11 that apparently actually breaks the local account creation inside the OOBE. And this is the update KB5065797. And this is, as I said, available right now to developer channel. And if we scroll down here, down below, we can see here some of the changes to the OOBE. And this is the most important part right here. So local only commands removal. So we are removing known mechanisms for creating a local account in the Windows Setup Experience or OOBE. So you will see this Windows Setup Experience while setting up Windows 11 from a clean install. And while these mechanisms were often used to bypass Microsoft account setup, they also inadvertently skip critical setup screens, potentially causing users to exit OOBE with a device that is not fully configured for use. Users will need to complete OOBE with internet and a Microsoft account to ensure device is set up correctly. So pretty much they are forcing Microsoft accounts with this update. So you have to create Microsoft account to continue using the Windows setup experience. And uh, unfortunately the old methods are no longer here. So if you would install this build cleanly on your computer. So I mean that if you would uh, go through all of the setup of Windows 11 once again, and if you wanted to create a new local account straight from the Windows setup experience here, this command would not work anymore. This command unfortunately does not work anymore with this exact build of Windows 11. So if you would type start ms minus txh colon local only, this unfortunately would not work and you won't see here this screen anymore and it would just restart the setup once again. So unfortunately this command does not work anymore and some of the users here on the X actually found out a new updated code here how you guys can actually create a new local account. So this guy bobpony.com actually says that start ms minus txh colon local only has been recently removed in the recent Windows 11 beta update. Bypass NRO still works. So the first thing which you will have to do here is to disconnect from the internet first while you are here on the OOBE screen. Then you will have to press shift plus F10 on your keyboard and you will type in this command right here. And I'm also going to put this uh, X post in the video description down below, right below the like button. And one thing also is there is also another command which this guy also found out. So Grip actually found this another command. So in OOBE, so inside the Windows setup experience, you will have to type in shift plus F10. Then you will type in net user username slash add, then net local group administrator username dash add, and then also CD OOBE ms oob shutdown minus r so local account successfully created apparently so yeah microsoft unfortunately is making a lot harder to create local account while you are clean installing windows 11 so yeah unfortunately this is something that uh, microsoft i think it will keep doing and uh, in the future, I think that this commands will not work anymore. And we as Windows 11 users will be forced to use Microsoft account during the setup. I hope that they don't actually remove the local account option when you are pretty much signed in in the system. And uh, yeah, this is something that is really unfortunate and that Microsoft is unfortunately really doing to screw up its user base. So this Windows 11 update, uh, is currently in developer channel. I hope it won't actually progress and come to the release candidate or something like that. So this is the update you should definitely avoid if you are inside developer channel and if you want to create a local account 
on your Windows 11 computer. Now, with that said, I will leave this 2x posts inside the video description so you guys can easily go and check out these commands to get your local account on Windows 11, specifically on this update. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.